Yanbo, the Emperor's Executioner, excels at two things. Diplomacy and killing things. I'm a huge fan of Cathay, but I haven't really had any great ideas for uh, campaigns with them. So this is a great opportunity. Research rate plus 5% for each province capital is pretty good, but the two most interesting things about this campaign are our other mechanics, which I'll show you in a second, and our starting location. We start both at the very top of Lustria and also at the very bottom of Cathay. So essentially what we need to do is activate the four dormant directions up here of the Woozing War Compass. Here's all four of the directions and their locations. They're all kind of good. None of them are incredible by any means. Uh, they're more of like a victory condition than the main thing about this campaign. But the main thing about this campaign is really, really fucking awesome. That is the matters of state. We have steel and we have stone. And what we do with those two things is these. We can do each of these actions. These are steel actions. These are stone actions. These are some of the strongest abilities that any lord has access to under any circumstances. After you spend steel every five turns or one less turn for every battle you fight, you get one stone. You turn the steel into stone. Now you can get more of each of these by building either commercial districts with stone or fortress cities with steel. But because it's gonna take us a while to get up to tier three, I just spent our steel gathering volunteers to join our army and very ethically demanding that my peasants complete three months of construction in five seconds. I set the big magic compass to more money, please. And now it's time to address the horde of green troglodytes loitering on my property. We have a lion carved from stone that is alive, magical, and horned for some reason alongside what may be the most revolting unit that this entire game has to offer. Oh, and we have a normal army too. Most importantly though, Yombo can simply decide that an enemy lord or hero is dead, and they die. The Emperor's Executioner is an extremely badass ability that will almost certainly be nerfed before the DLC releases. Uh, Yombo is extremely powerful, like really, really, really strong individually. <laughs> Uh, over here, let's take a look at our territory in Cathay. We have Shangwu. I think I'm going to build up one small army just to take over this full province and then maybe get rid of it. I don't know. Oh, they're running away? Why? What? what? Out of all of their options, that was the dumbest one. They might attack me now, finally. Okay, now that I have the garrison reinforcing me, they finally decide to attack. That makes no sense, but fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, they started charging me here before the reinforcements fully came in, so that is good. We'll pop this again and just immediately chunk down the health on their lord. Uh, they are, they are very dead. We took no damage there. No damage. That is ridiculous. Either we can keep Shang Wu or give up Shang Wu. I think we keep it. Oh, very nice. Almost 10,000 gold. Uh, even though these guys are recovering a bit and recruiting some units, and also this is a main settlement, I still think we just roll that. Oh, are they gonna... Yeah, they are gonna attack again. All right. I love the way he runs. He has this, like, weapon behind him. It's almost like a Naruto run, but not quite. Slightly more damage than last time, but not much at all. Here we just take this for pretty much free. Look at that movement order. The gate is broken down. There's some of them stuck in the sides of the gate here. All right, they're fucking stuck in the gate. And they're running away from the gate. Wow, that's that's not bad at all. Campaign movement range 10% and perfect vigor. That's crazy. I've got to say, I'm not a fan of the camera going all the way back and forth from one side of the map to the other every turn. Oh, you have two armies, but I still auto-resolve that. Just because this fight is so absurd, it's a stack and a half versus, like, mostly peasants and not even a full stack. I'm gonna play this out. We just grabbed the Empress Crowman ROR over here, and they look extremely strong. The Nangao grenades are just insane, because these guys have 60 models. The only thing to compare this to off the top of my head is the Pterodon Riders from the Lizardmen, and they have like 12 models. We are beating the ever-loving shit out of them. Oh my god. <laughs> We're taking like no damage in a 2v1. These guys might be capable of killing their lord, but I don't want to risk it. I'm thinking these Jade Warriors with 50 melee defense are probably going to win this engagement, especially with the archers supporting them. Oh my god, I'm going to use this in a second here. It's going to be glorious. Let's see here. Oh my god, that is such a large exp- 400 kills! Oh, with the fear land on them. Yes, yes, yes. Rear charge plus the fear, they're all going to crumble instantly. Somehow got a heroic victory despite a really good auto-resolve.
I declare war on you now, not because I have to, but because I want to bait your armies out of there. Oh, we got Godric and Felix somewhere. Uh, here. These guys are terrible commanders, but they don't need to be good commanders. All they really need to do is fight. Oh, they probably go for Godric there. Yes, with him in force march, they're going to walk right into that ambush. Right into... Actually, how did he not get ambushed? I don't know why they weren't ambushed here, but uh, we killed him here, <laughs> and it shouldn't be hard. Personally, I'm a big fan of having my reinforcement location, like, behind the enemy army in situations like this, because it allows me to just split them up. Oh my god, we just yeeted him. This guy's a massive 3,500. That's crazy to see him get thrown like that. Oh, we have 3,502! That is such an oddly specific number to have. I have no idea why we have 3,502 mass and we just yeet him 30 feet like that. That is ridiculous. Uh, Gotrick and Felix are doing a very good job of not dying. That was extremely good. We really didn't use the army. At all. We used some of their ammo, but other than that, we just used their single entities. Because they're very good. Oh, that is Lord Mundy, and he has a full stack. And he's in the settlement that I want to take. Okay. I can probably just wipe out the smaller army, then go for the small settlement there. That seems like the best move. Oh my god, that is 36 armor-piercing missile strength. Uh, if they want to attack us, they'll have to attack Yombo directly or the Fallen Gates. Either way is fine. Uh, we won't get wiped out if we lose. I'm just really hoping they leave the settlement, though. Why is the camera back over? Okay, they are attacking me. I fucking hate the camera, man. Mazdamundi is shit in melee. And I don't think the AI is going to do a good enough job of protecting him. Their magic actually is not very good. You guys, I'm thinking, focus on that revivification crystal, because it gets a lot of value throughout the battle. Uh, you use this ability on it, which reduces its missile resistance to, like, 0%. <laughs> actually, minus 10%, technically, but... Uh, you guys are going to murder Mazdamundi now, because why not? You kill Mazdamundi as well now. All three of these units just murk on him. He should go down super quick. Okay, and yes, with the terror, they are routing, and I think they get the army losses in 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. We got them. Mazda Mundi is Mazda Dundee. That didn't sound as good as I thought it would. Whatever. Uh, he's fucking dead, and so is his army. Oh my god, that is filthy. 2125 on that ROR. I don't even know if they used all their ammo, so that is, that is crazy. Uh, okay, wow, their armies are decimated here. <laughs> Uh, oh, yes, they are right there. So I don't need to fight them in the settlement. Gotrick and Felix can also help, so that'll be... Ah, uh, That's very annoying, but we still have Gotrick and Felix to help. Single entities really are the only thing that makes siege battles tolerable for me. And even then, it's only when I have real good ones. And this beautiful settlement is ours. We can build the Astromantic Relay here, which is good. Oh, and now we can grab all of these. This I'm grabbing right away because that is fucking massive. That should stack with some other massive bonuses that we get in our own territory. And then I'll also grab this right away. 50% of anything is awesome. 50% spell intensity is very awesome. Comet of Cassandora and or Talons of Night are going to rip after that. Do I want to just murder you? Because you're real close here. Your territory is good. Yeah, I think that's what we do next. We probably go to war with these guys. Ah, you'll pay me 1,400 gold to join that war, so yeah, I'll take that. I will eventually declare war on you as well, don't worry about that. After I got paid 1,600 to declare war on you, you would immediately pay 800 for a peace treaty. So that would be 2,500, a little less, like 2,300 gold for free, for doing nothing. I'm not gonna take that. I do want their territory. Uh, I can immediately just take this out from under him. So I will do that. Oh, wait, I assume that would be a better army. I really should have gone for this, actually. That would have been a better move. Yeah, they probably can reach this. It's hard to tell what their movement range is without Force March. I think if I back off from this, this army attacks me, and this army reinforces. But I do think if I take this, they probably take that back, or I could just go for peace with them, which should not be hard. We'll see if this works. Fuck. Possibly... Potentially, this might be winnable. They're fighting to the last, but they aren't going to win. They killed a lot of them. They killed over half of that army. What the fuck is happening with the camera? Okay. Sad that they're dead, but what the fuck is... Okay. Uh, uh cool. 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 A lot of weird shit happened real quick. Not questioning any of it. 
fine. We can't reach that, unfortunately, so I guess we just take this now, finally. Ah, the Jade Wardrum. That is a new ROR. Okay, it has three abilities here, all within a hundred meter range. That is, that is wild. Melee attack plus eight and immune to psychology or armor plus 24, which is also really good or speed plus 15% and magical attacks. Yeah, that's just a good addition here. Okay, that's a weird move, but fun. Any shot? Oh my God, we can. We can reach him. He might back off. He probably will, but even still we can chase him down and I'd rather not give him the option of like taking one of my settlements for free. That's concerning. We might attack this, sack this, and then go back over there as far as we can. We would benefit a hell of a lot more from like any missile buffs, especially considering that these guys only have a speed of 30. They're not really maneuverable to help melee units. And they're done. We might actually be better off taking this because we get so much extra movement range starting in our own territory. I think we will take that, yeah. I don't want these guys to get any stronger, so I will just murder them here. And that gets us our fourth steal. And with this fourth steal and this tier three settlement, we're going to turn this into a fortress city. What does that do? I have no fucking idea. I don't know, <laughs> but we're going to try it. <laughs> oh, local recruitment capacity up to plus three. Ammo for all armies faction wide. These are wild bonuses. Line of sight, all armies. Can we reach not? Mm, actually, we can. Wow, I'm surprised. That is a lot of goddamn movement range. We do have a ton of buffs to it, though. Oh my god, I I hate sieges so much. Here, with this lord that we already have, uh, we should be able to, like, two-ish turn get an army. Not a great army, because our current recruitment is pretty shit, but a good one. All right, when do we get other recruitment? Okay, next turn we can get Iron Hail Gunners locally. Two turns from now we can get Jade Warrior Crosswoman. And then this army, once it's full and very strong, should be able to start wiping these guys out. And then we wipe everyone else out and take all of their shit. We're ideally going to be taking most of Lustria. We don't need to take all of it. We just need to take this, this, and this. But taking those without wiping out most of Lustria is honestly harder than just wiping out most of Lustria. <laughs> uh, Comet of Cassandora rank two. I really want to try out Comet of Cassandora with like 200% spell intensity. I'm going to fight this battle just to do that. 100%. 195% spell intensity. We're gonna try out a few things. The first is gonna be Blossom Wind here. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna try this one more time. This time I will overcast it because that gets it up to 51 damage per second. Oh, oh, it's not hitting very much, but it's fucking killing those units immediately. That is three units dead. Oh my God. That's a warp bomb right there. That is a warp bomb right there. That is a nuke. And they're gone. They're gone before I can even test more on them. Wait, what? We have 2,500 trade income already. And that's just plus 20%. I believe it's probably time to kill these guys. Everything except for Wolfheart himself should go down here real quick. Okay. All right. <laughs> that, that actually went straight that time. And that's a thousand value or nine wins of magic. We have over a hundred more. We have 135 more wins of magic. So I think we probably win this. <laughs> yes, the first unit dodges, the rest of them do not dodge. It's literally a bowling ball, just killing all of them. A beautiful pink bowling ball of death. And they're done, absolutely beautiful. And here the question is, uh, can we do this with just this Lord or do we need both of them? We don't have any siege attackers here. I assumed these guys would be siege attackers. These guys are not siege attackers. So essentially what I've done here is I've spent a while building up my economy and also setting up everything I needed to recruit really quickly here. And now I just non-stop pump out armies and send them immediately down into here. And one by one, or really two by one, we destroy all of these factions. Now instead of one army here, we have two full armies. And really? Close victory? Oh, this is my least favorite map in the fucking game to besiege. I'm not doing it. Absolute maximum velocity here. Every single large siege battle that I've had this campaign, at least that I remember, has been on this same fucking map. Why? It's the worst one. It's the worst map in the game. I have a really uh, new idea. We haven't ever done this before. We're going to start building up another army. 
Our incredible movement range in our own territory is actually super helpful. Hmm, I'm gonna fight this manually. Wolfheart is in Force March, but we can't reach him. Unfortunate. Yeah, I, I don't know why he's just outside of reinforcement range there. That is just such a weird choice. Fine, I guess we take this then. It's just a small settlement, so it should be easy. Here, we are finally going to be getting a commercial district. Uh, I just want to see what this does. I have no idea what this does, so <laughs> fuck it, let's try it. Okay, just immediately. That is insane. Okay, hero recruit rank all provinces. Oh, construction cost for all buildings minus 5%. Okay, that's what we can get for the growth buildings. Those are pretty good. Income from trade tariffs plus 25%. We have 4,000 gold per turn in trade tariffs. That's a bit powerful, but this is also so powerful. I, I do think that this is way more powerful, though. That's not bad. Casualty replenishment rate plus 3% for Yang units, all armies faction-wide. And this is just the other side of that. Our research rate has officially hit 200%. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking research rate. We still haven't researched that much, but that's because we're on turn 26. I honestly think our diplomacy is, like, some of the strongest I've ever had. Our diplomacy buffs might be a little too strong. It, they are they are ridiculous. Uh, almost auto-resolve. Almost an auto-resolve, not quite an auto-resolve. We will manually fight this. So we're gonna test the strategy of use gun to shoot them. Okay, we move up right away with you. And we start using Spirit Leech. We have uh, four bound casts of it. And we'll just use them on Wolfheart. Okay, here we should just blast them. Yep, we are we are just blasting them. These lads do have shields, which will help them a little bit, but not, not very much. The Free Company are just walking away from the battle. Not even running away from it, just walking away. Oh, they're coming back now. All right. That was really not as hard as I thought it would be. That was quite easy. Uh, here, we just kill you. Bada boom. Oh shit, Itza was destroyed. That does not usually happen. Not at turn 28, that's crazy. Somehow I accidentally muted myself here, but I decided to get peace with both Wolfheart and Alberic so that I could focus more on getting the rest of the Astromantic Relays. God damn, it's taken a while to build this shit up. Uh, after we build this, it'll be five more turns until we can get just our first Astromantic Relay. The big problem with these is just that they take forever to build. Uh, we can get here in what looks like three turns, which is pretty goddamn good. We'll just do that then. I mean, these guys are not weak, but they're not as strong as me. Oh, I'm strength rank one now. Awesome. I don't know how long this lasts, but the extra movement range could probably be really useful here. Uh, seven turns, seven turns. That's not bad. How many settlements do you have? You have six total settlements. I'm pretty certain that this is yours. Yep, 100% corruption there. Nice little chunk of gold. And then we begin the murdering. Hopefully we can take this right away. I think we probably can. Uh, tier 1. Tier 1 garrison there. Yoink. And we'll take the second settlement here as well. And then after that, they probably want peace because they are not doing good. They are, they are very weak. So yeah, second one acquired. Here, we're going to acquire this third one as well, all in one fell swoop. Mm, I fucking forgot again. We don't have any siege attackers. We still don't have access to any siege attackers. Let me actually double check here. That, that can't be right, can it? Okay, the Grand Cannon. Oh, uh, we should get some of those just to have a siege attacker in each of our armies. Also, just in general, artillery is good. Uh, Luther Harkin himself? No, we don't beat that. Fine. Really? I mean, that's a good trade, man. Can we reach you? Uh, yeah, we can. I think after we wipe out these two armies, he will agree to that. Actually, we ought to resolve that. We will. And now it costs half as much, but that's still too much. You would actually do that and pay me to get a war against them. But now, the question is, can I immediately get peace with you? I can. So, uh, good. <laughs> that definitely should reduce my reliability. It doesn't, but that was the most, like, deceptive thing I could have possibly done there. That's ridiculous. Yoink. Bada boom. This one's at least at tier two. We should get the rest of this region, just to build up quicker. We could get more armies, but we literally don't need them. We already have, like, six full armies. God, he has so much movement range. That is, that is just so much movement range. I think that's like the maximum he could have. Not even in Force March, but with Force... Oh yeah, he maxes out with Force March. Uh, We can all resolve that fun. Why is it showing me over here? Skrulk is not here. Skrulk is over at the other side of the map. What? I've never seen Skrulk that strong. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. We don't have a garrison here, so we'll just recruit a lord and recruit a bunch of units here. We can just yoink this now. Uh, We'll kill this army first, though. That is a surprising quantity of Skaven. I'm very confident we still killed him, though. I have 
a diabolical plan. And that is essentially to have my first army fight their army. Great. Normal. That is like what you're supposed to do. But at the same time, Yombo is probably going to get like one cast onto these guys and then camp that wall. Oh, come on, go left, go left, go left. Ah, uh, they actually dodged that pretty well. 762 kills already. Yeah, that's, that's a good few kills. That's a good bit of value as well. Not an easy one, but we didn't take too much damage, so I will handily accept that. Slight overkill to use this on some Skaven slaves, but I feel like it's necessary here. And now, we officially have all of the places where we can build the Astromantic Relays. Oh no, how terrifying. Two mediocre armies have spawned here. Oh my god, really? Really? You little bastard! It's gonna take fucking forever to build that now. You know what? No, I'm not doing the short victory. I'm just building the first relay. I have all four of the buildings. The only limitation is getting enough growth. At this point, I am strength rank one by a wide motherfucking margin. Ah, we can finally do this. I don't know what that will do. Let's see how good this trait is. This better be a good trait. That's actually good. That's actually good. That's not necessarily worth it, but that is very good. Last one of these fucking armies, gone. Not even hard. They weren't even good armies. Uh, that is really cool. That's really cool, you know, that it took me 40 goddamn turns to get this. All of these are significantly better. It's just the worst one that I happen to get. Uh, unfortunately, it will take me like 15, 20, 30 turns, I don't know how long, to rank these fuckers up, build those buildings, then complete those missions. That takes a long time, and this campaign is already won. This is Strength Rank 3. I don't know where Strength Rank 2 is, but uh, I am a lot stronger than Strength Rank 3. Like, a lot. Unfortunately, they're never going to accept my confederation. If I'm this strong, and we have a defensive alliance, which, by the way, did not make it worse, uh, at this point, if they're still not doing it, they'll never do it. There's nothing I can do then to get them to agree to an alliance. We're at, like, almost plus 200 with them. Yombo, very, very, very strong. 51 settlements, turn 41. That's pretty goddamn good to me. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Big thanks to my patrons and YouTube members. And you can keep an eye on my second channel, Additional Stupidity, if you want to see a little bit more content, some extra, like, battles that are edited and stuff like that that just doesn't fit into the main videos. And yeah, uh, that's all. Peace out.